you're going to be dumb, you better be tough. And not going to lie, on Sunday, I was really dumb. And now I got to tough it out. Um, I, you know, on those three attempts, 550 deficit deadlift, getting it off the ground three times. Um, you know, it doesn't matter how clean your technique is. That's going to be taxing on your lower back. And yesterday, not going to lie, uh, I could barely even get out of a chair. That's how sore my lower back is. Luckily, it's not an injury. It's just the erectors. I mean, my entire back was lit up. And I'm feeling a lot better today, but not going to push it. Just going to do some, you know, seated overhead press um, because I'm still pretty tight. But I'm going to give a few kind of tips on how to get your low back uh, feeling better if, you know, you're an ego lifter like me and you just like going heavy all the time um, and your low back gets jacked up. Um, obviously, right, everyone's like, yeah, proper nutrition, sleep, blah, blah, blah. That's important. That's the most important. Like this doesn't, this mobility shit doesn't matter if you're not sleeping, if you're not eating. Um, but most people know nutrition and sleep. Most people don't follow it, but most people know about it. Um, when it comes to low back, you know, a lot of times, especially if you get a back injury, you know, doctors will prescribe stretches and mobility and strengthening exercise for your your low back and your core but what i found works is not necessarily i mean stretching the low back works to a point but you got to realize everything else around it gets tight and that's your hips your hamstrings your lats your upper back everything that's connected in that chain is going to get super tight when the low back gets tight and i found loosening up those areas um, helps make the lower back feel better so let's get into it. All right, first thing and most important thing in my opinion is hips. Um, I got a baseball here, but lacrosse ball works as well. I don't, I lost my lacrosse ball, but you know, it it all works. It's it's hard, you know, with a foam roller like this to, to pinpoint your hips, but I, I found baseball lacrosse ball works. And basically what you want to do, and you'll notice when you're doing this, you, you don't really think there's a lot of area and things that can get tight up in your hips and your glutes. But when you do this, you, you'll find out you're really wrong <laughs> because what you wanna do is you wanna take your lacrosse ball or baseball and kind of pinpoint different areas in your hips, kind of sit on it, lay down on it, and roll it around until you find a tight spot and then sit on it for 10, 15 seconds and then keep you know, rolling around your hips, uh, the outside of your hips, like your piriformis muscle, um, and keep finding those tight spots. And do that for a few minutes on each side. Uh, stand up, walk around, you'll notice you'll feel a lot better. I mean, it hurts, really. Especially if you've never done this before, you'll never realize how many how many tight spots you have in your hips. Um, after that, the next best thing to do is straight up sit in your squat. Like, I try to do 10 minutes a day, just like this. Kind of push the knees out. Um, I, you know, I put my heels up on a book or something because I'm doing like five minutes at a time. But this will really help open up your hips and make your low back feel a lot better. All right, the next thing is a uh, couch stretch. Uh, this is for your hip flexors. So basically, you know, I've just folded up a sweatshirt on the ground here um, just for some padding for my knee. You can do it on your bed, you can do it on the couch. If you don't have anything the right height, just pull, pull up against the wall and do it. But essentially, it's just put your feet up, on the couch or your bed or the wall or something, uh, knee on the ground, make sure, you know, here, I'll do it on the other side. Make sure this glute is fired and you're not really overarching like this, but staying straight, fire that glute and then really just kind of push into it, maintaining neutral spine until you feel that stretch in your hip flexor and do this for, you know, 60 seconds to two minutes per leg you'll feel a lot better afterwards. Uh, if you're like me and you sit in a desk all day or you sit in a chair all day, whatever, or even if you're just standing all day and not really moving around in general, your hip flexors will get really tight and you'll feel it when you do the stretch, you'll feel a lot better. All right, next thing is hamstrings. Uh, I feel like most people, especially if you're an athlete, you're, you're stretching your hamstrings a lot. Um, and so this isn't really a huge point um, but I've noticed, especially when I hurt my low back, when I hyperextend something or when I'm just super sore, my hamstrings will get super tight. And I think it's just because it's all part of that chain. And 
you know, a few stretches. I think my favorite hamstring stretch, you know, again, I'll use the bed as an example, is just putting feet up and leaning into it. Especially if you point your toe, this really just isolates the hamstring and the stretch. Um, you know, obviously you can just touch your toes like this or whatever. Um, and another one that actually helps stretch out the lower back a little bit is, I think in yoga, it's like happy baby pose. I'm gonna face this way so you don't have, you know, my gooch and stuff in your face. But if you grab your toes like this and just extend, you'll feel it, you know, in your hamstrings and then your low back will really pull. Those erectors will, will stretch out. This feels great. Do those for, you know, again, 60 seconds, two minutes per leg. All right, last thing I got is lats. Um, I feel like these are really hard to get with a foam roller. I mean, you can do this, right? But it doesn't get the whole lat, and especially, I feel like my lats get to tend to get really tight here. Especially if you're a big polar, your low back gets tight, your lats and your upper back are probably getting really tight too. So what I do is foam roller right here. Um, put it kind of on your lat here. You want it to be below the shoulder blade so it's not on the bone. Basically what you do, you know, lay your arm out flat like this and just rotate. You'll feel it roll over that lat. It's horrible. It's torture, but you do this 15, 20 times per side, you know, maybe move it up and down the lat a little bit, find those tight spots. Uh, I mean, you'll feel a hundred times better after this.